The another thing which is mandatory in S4 HANA is activating the material ledger. Without activating material ledger, you will not be able to do any postings, any logistics posting would not happen if you have not created the material ledger. Okay, so we'll be activating the material ledger. Now, this is a FICO configuration. We need to go into the product cost controlling, actual costing, material ledger types to valuation area. Here, I will go to my SGS3. Valuation area is plant. And from 0001, I will change it to 9000. Again, a technical step for the finance consultant, change it to the 9000 material ledger type save it and then go to the next one activate material ledger for valuation areas activate material ledger position sgs3 material ledger active price determination to enter and save these are the technical steps you need to do it and the final step you need to do it after that is ckm start to activate the material ledger to make it live from plant sgs3 test run and background processing i will remove it and I will execute it. All the steps are green. We are done. All the technical steps for FI and MM we have completed. That's only required. Next steps is the sales specific. We need to create sales organization, distribution channel, division, and we need to link all of the things together. To do that, we need to have a detailed understanding that will go into detail. This I did quick, 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 right? Because these are not SD consultant job. Sales organization, you need to create as SD consultant. So once this is done, make sure you go to the transaction MM01 and validate whether it has been created correctly or not. So let's try to create SGS3. I will not create, but I'm just checking FG01. Industry sector, I will use mechanical and material type. I will use FERT, finished product. And here we need to go to the accounting one and put your plant SGS3 and check whether this ML tick is coming or not. If ML tick is not coming, it means your material ledger is not properly activated. Don't go ahead and create the material masters if this ML tick is not coming. Make sure you check your configuration again and create, activate your material ledger, okay? With this, we have done all of the steps. One step I will explain you, which is generally sometimes asked in the interviews also, how do you transport the uh, transport request from development to quality or quality to production. So we answer that question. We, we say that we need to release our transport request. So we'll be able to release our transport request. You need to go into SU01, SC01. Here you can put your username. So this is a process how you would be releasing the transport request. So we all do all the configuration in development system. Once we have done the unit testing, it need to move to the quality system where basically we will be doing a further integration test. So to do that movement, we'll be putting it here, our user ID, okay? And then I will press enter. So SGS3, SD configuration, this is the what we want to release it. So you will see that this is the 71709 and 1710. This is the customization request is there. If you, and all of these activities, you can see here what are the activities you have done under it. It is mentioned here. These are the activities you have done. Now, these configuration you want to move to development to quality system. So you will come in SC01. You need to come to your user ID and the transport request which you have created. Click on that. And then there is a truck icon. Release directly. Click on the release directly. So 1710 has been released to the request 1709. We will also click it here and release 1709. These both has been released it successfully. So you can see here, these are the modifiable in your name. In my name, these are the modifiables and this is the release task. This has been released, then you can send it that this is my customization request 1709. It has been released, basis team, please move it to the quality. Or basically we send it to our design lead and design lead send it to the uh, basis team to get it moved to the quality system. Sometime if the configuration basis team has done the configuration quality, they want to move it quickly. It does not automatic movement does not happen to production, but from development to quality based on the system setting, sometime when you release it, as soon as you release it in your development system, based on the basis system configuration, it can auto move to quality system. Automatically it will move to the quality system that can done 
based on the basis configuration. Okay. But generally, we need to send it an email to basis team and they move it to quality system. And we need to release it. And release, we do it with SC01. By clicking on this truck icon, we release it. Once we have released this transport request, we cannot do further configuration under this request number. When uh, now, next time when you'll be coming to create your sales organization, you need to create a new transport request for it. And this is very common. In a project, we would be having a multiple transport request. Generally, for one kind of work, let's say for the enterprise structure creation, we'll have a one transport request. For enterprise structure assignment, we'll have another transport request. For all of our sales pricing related configuration, we have a separate transport request. For all of our uh, tax related configuration or all of our document type related configuration, we'll have a separate transport request. Separate, separate transport request we are creating sometime. Uh, your uh, manager would be saying that for each node of the configuration, SPRO, you should have a separate uh, transport request. It totally depends on project to project. Sometimes we can combine a lot into one single transport request and sometimes we divide it. I prefer to have a significant division of the transport because sometimes you did some configuration and you don't want to move it to the quality or production system. But if it is part of a big transport request and this transport request will be fully moved, you cannot say that, you know that move the company code, but don't move the plant. That cannot happen because this transport request is a combination of company code and plant. So both will move together. If you only want to move company code, this cannot happen because it is assigned with the same transport request. That's why it's always advisable. Here in the sandbox, you can do all the configuration in one. But remember, when you'll be doing in the projects, it's always advisable to create some smaller transport requests for the different, different kind of work. Create a different transport request so that in case you want to move individual company code only, you would be able to move them. Okay. That's how you would be releasing your transport request with SC01 transaction code.